Hello, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, Microsoft invents a calculator that makes stuff up until you run out of credits. Excel is the world's most successful spreadsheet program, trancing all competitors. You do serious numbers, you use Excel. Millions and billions of dollars flow through Excel daily. But what if, right? What if we got Excel, right? And we made it churn out slop. And, right, you can only churn out slop until you run out of credits. Microsoft is rolling out the Excel Copilot function to the Insider program. You can calculate 100 functions every 10 minutes or 300 in one hour. Because really, who'd ever use a function more than once in a spreadsheet or ever hit recalculate or ever need anyone else to run their spreadsheet? Never happens. Because the one thing missing from the RAND function, right, was credits. So you could pay every time you want to generate something random. Shoving a copilot function into Excel is quintessential quarterly driven development, where actively useless trash is pushed out so someone can claim credit in their annual review as pushing AI for the company. This requires humiliating your underlings in the process. So here's a couple of Excel middle managers making a video. It's in the standard podcast format. Guy explains that chick who says wow a lot. We send it to the LLM, the LLM considers it, mm -hmm. and the results are returned to you in your grid. And that's what I love about this function. It's just like so deeply and seamlessly integrated into Excel, into your workbook, part of your model. It's fantastic. Keep going. And off it goes. Look at that. Completely integrated into the calc system of Excel. I love it. You can tell these two are only middle managers, not vice presidents, because they have normal haircuts. The end of the video shows off an amazing pivot function. It's just a normal pivot function. That's what they've got to show. Maybe they're going to start charging credits for pivot functions too. The copilot function comes with a few warnings. You shouldn't use the copilot function for numbers or calculations or anything that requires context or financial, legal, or other, quote, high stakes, unquote, documents, or anything needing up-to-date information. But you never need any of that at work, right? Microsoft also forgot to screen comments on the blog. Quote, well done. Cannot wait for the next update to add more tools and functions that should not be used in any professional capacity. Unquote. Google also added a Gemini function to Google Sheets. At least Google makes it clear what it's for. It's so you can create fake data. Sorry, that should be, quote, generate data with Gemini in Google Sheets, unquote. You'd never use the uh, generated data in live, right? Of course you wouldn't. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. Don't forget, send this episode to just one other person. They had it coming. Please do hit like and subscribe on YouTube, leave a nice podcast review, and if you can, you can help us keep going here at Pivot by dropping just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below. Thank you all. See you tomorrow, and bye for now.